Hi, this is Tom from Miradingi Restorations. Uh, yesterday you saw us take off all of the, the, the back side uh, and, bot and bottom panels. Um, poor thing is in a little bit of a, a bit of a state now, but that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do today, we'll take the, the carcass such as it is out of here, get ourselves some trestles built so that we've got a nice firm, stable platform uh, ready to build the new hull on. Um, we'll then bring this back in, use the trestles uh, to sit, sit it upright and level off of the trailer. Uh, then we'll deconstruct this so that we can scavenge absolutely all the parts from it and start reconditioning those. Uh, and then we're gonna get the workbench set up at the back so that we've got uh, a place to start cutting up the plywood panels. Um, lots to do, so I'm going to do a time lapse and I'll see you on the other side. Hello Mera Dinghy Restorers. Well, uh, it's the end of the day. I've got the dinghy completely deconstructed into parts, as you can see behind me. Um, and I've also got my trestles built. Um, let me show you what I've done. <coughs> uh, most importantly, I've poured myself a glass of wine for the end of the day. And on the trestles, what I've got is, these are old joists from my house. These are old scaffolding boards that have been reused. I've planed the top of them just to clean them up um, so that I can put clean timber on there and not worry about it getting marked. Um, but I haven't bothered cleaning up the frame. That doesn't really matter. Um, quite a solid thing. I've got these two uh, cross members that I can kind of move around to where I need and the two static ones uh, at either end forming the actual braces. Um, sometimes you want to rest the gunnels actually of the of the boat. The, these are short enough to fit inside. They're about um, a meter long. So these are short enough to fit inside the gunnels. Um, if I want the gunnels to actually rest on this, what I'll have to do is just uh, put an extension piece out here uh, or across. That'll be that'll be fine. That'll be quite straightforward. Um, let's look at where we're at. I've got um, as we found this morning, basically, or found yesterday, basically, yeah, the bulkheads are pretty buggered. Um, this is not. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Um, I've managed to salvage huge amounts of bits, but I don't know what I'm going to do about these bulkheads. I think, to be honest, I might just replace this ply um, because it's so far gone. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, the bad news of the day, I knew that already, the bad news of the day is that the transom, oh, not the transom, the, 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 the aft bulkhead, that's actually starting to rot nastily as well. Um, it's, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, thinner and flakier than I would have liked. I can probably patch it, but the question is whether it's worth it. Uh, all the decks are off and in pieces, they're all pretty much fine. The only, the only quandary that I have now, this is uh, the port side uh, tank panel, um, off and pretty much cleaned up. You can see that after a lot of sanding here, this is actually cleaning up very nicely. Um, I don't mind a bit of marking on the timber because, you know, it's an old boat and, and that's what you get. Um, but it would be nice to clean it up a bit more than a bit more than this. The trouble is that veneer is actually wearing very very thin, um, and overall the ply is fine. It's a little bit a little bit gone down here at the bottom where where we expected. What I could do is basically kind of bathe this in epoxy. <laughs> um, and it'll probably be all right. Um, but we'll have to see. I've just been to get sanding pads and, and they don't have any at B&Q. So uh, when I can get the right sanding pads, then we'll 
have a look and actually see how much of the veneer I need to take this off to bring the finish up to an acceptable point. Um, if it's too much, then it's going to be too thin. I'm just going to be able to kick my way through it. You don't want that when you're trying to sail at sea. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit like these panels are end of life, to be honest, or 75% of life. Um, and with all the rest being pretty much new, I'm a little bit concerned, if I'm honest, that this isn't going to... Um, this isn't going to be a sensible idea to put them back in, but we'll we'll persevere for a bit and see where we get to with them. Um, I think they actually look nicer in real life than they do on the video. Looking at this, so they're not as mucky as 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 you guys can see. Um, so we'll 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 have to see. Um, and I am exhausted. So that's the end of. I don't know what I don't even know what day it is. That's the end of the day. <laughs> See you tomorrow.